So this is what $30 million buys you on Cape Cod. You said generational wealth. There are like people that families. have been here since the Mayflower. Really? Yes, that, that's, like, that's a real thing, that there are families that have been here, and in these towns you'll go around, you'll see like a lot of the, the like Nickerson, Crocker. So that is something that's different than many of the markets. A lot of these communities were founded in the 1600s. Now, as far as stats on the home, it's 15,500 square feet of interior living space with seven bedrooms, nine full bathrooms and five half bathrooms. The exterior of the home has white cedar roofs with beautiful fieldstone chimneys, custom windows and doors, and Cape Cod can get some pretty intense storms. This house is built to hurricane grade, so this home can withstand any storm that's pumping up in the Atlantic. This property is 3.66 acres of land, a southern facing law over Nantucket Sound, and it has a main house, a guest house, and even a staff house. So I've been in the house before. Every time I walk in here, it is a house where your jaw actually drops when you walk in here. As soon as you enter, you've got double height ceilings in the space and you can't experience this, but the smell in this house is so good. When you open this door, the first thing you see is the blues of the Nantucket Sound, the backyard. So let's just actually walk out. I mean, you walk in and it's right in the windows of this house. So just check this out. And this right here is why people come to Cape Cod. This is the definition of as luxurious as you're gonna get in the Northeast here. So as soon as you walk through the front door, you walk immediately out the back to your rolling green backyard. Again, you have 208 feet of ocean, private beach. Well, we'll get to all that later. Let's actually head back in and look at the home. So back on inside, when you first enter the home, this is the communal area. This is the entertaining area. Big open space here, totally open concept. Off my right, you've got your formal dining room with, I love this, this is a round table with seating for 14. I really don't like when you come into a place and you have the table where there's a head of the table. Everyone's equal here, you love the round table. You have a marble fireplace at either end of this great room here. Beautiful chandelier, also if you look up, coffered ceilings. When I see coffered ceilings in a home, that's like the, you know you're in a luxurious space if the ceilings are coffered. But if we make our way across, this is then the formal sitting area. And again, you've got another one of those marble fireplaces here. It's a gas fireplace. And if you notice, there's no TV in here. You do not need a TV in a house like this. I know a lot of people comment, where's the TV at? When you get a place like this, you're not watching TV. I can assure you that. But it's a lot of home to take in, so let's keep on going. And another thing I wanna point out is the depth in this house. From this shot, you can really see how expansive it really is. And I love all the milled work with these columns throughout the space, really giving it that grandeur. So from this main area, this is my favorite part of the house. This is the heart of the home. This is the family room with the chef's kitchen. You've got a little bar behind me, but the first thing you notice when you walk in here, you've got cathedral ceilings and the beams of the wood are meant to replicate the hull of a ship. So the nautical theme throughout the home is just in every single room. I've filmed a lot of homes on the channel and I have to say this one really feels like a home. You know, the price point's way up there, but it just feels so livable, so cozy. You have another fireplace in here, gas fireplace, and here we finally have the TV with the media wall built in. And then on the far end here, we have the, uh, the informal dining space. You can have your breakfast here. And again, you've got the views. Nantucket Sound, and you have the glimpse of your, your outdoor space with your pool here. But I wanna take you into the kitchen. So here in the chef's kitchen, bam, we've got the breakfast bar, two islands here. And to really drive home that this is a home for family, we have one, two, and then if all these are in use, you have three dishwashers here in this kitchen. This is your bar area. Again, you've got that mahogany and that custom millwork up and down here. Just really nice layout. And I do want to show another detail. This was built into the first island for when the owners were cooking and they didn't want their dogs in the kitchen. Like little touches like that are so important to a home. And let's break down the appliances. So we have a beautiful six burner cooktop here with a reclaimed tile mosaic on the backsplash, beautiful hood over top. So we're technically in the main house, but off to my left here through this door is the entrance to the guest house. And before we head into the guest house here, you have the home gym, which has everything you would need for a home gym. And I do want to mention that this house 
comes as is. If you were to purchase this house today, you'd get the key and everything that comes with the house. You got your free weights, treadmill, rowing machine. You even have a powder room here in the gym. I mentioned there was, I believe, five powder rooms in the house. So through the gym, this is finally the guest house. And the guest house is basically a smaller version of the main house. So as you can see, it's still pretty spacious. For a guest house, this is huge. You've got your living room, kitchen, all open concept, dining room table right in front. I'm gonna take you upstairs to show you the guest bedrooms here. So at the top of the staircase, you've got your hallway connecting all the bedrooms here in the guest house. And I wanna point out that every single guest bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. So it's full on like a top of the line resort here. And even from the guest bedrooms, the views here, we've got your outdoor terrace, which also connects all three guest bedrooms. And just look at this. I mean, now we have a view of your pool down below, which we haven't toured yet. The sound off in the distance there. I mean, this is why people move to Cape Cod. It's, it's a coastal elite area. For reference, we've got guest bedroom number one, guest bedroom number two, and at the very end here, we've got your third guest bedroom, which are all again connected by this terrace. And even just take a look at how large these guest bedrooms are. They're huge. And again, like I mentioned, they all have ensuite bathrooms, which in themselves are huge. Like, look how big this bathroom is. So leaving the third guest bedroom, we're now back in that connecting hallway. And I want to show you the second guest bedroom. In the second guest bedroom, we have a double height vaulted ceiling here with twin beds. And again, you've got that view of the sound. Let's just pop out there one more time. But now let's check out the pool. Now heading out to the pool, before we go out, you have a changing room, which looks like you could be in a boutique shop in downtown. I mean, you've got your sunscreen laid out, towels, bags, everything. Shower, changing room. Now the pool is an 80,000 gallon resort style swimming pool built right in here. This backyard itself is an oasis. I mean, you got your choice of the pool or the sound. We've got your fire pit here. So when the sun gets down low on those cool early fall nights, you can warm up by the fire. And it's really from outside here where you can see how significant the home is and that breakdown of the guest house connected via the kitchen to the main house. I wanna also talk about the landscaping. The landscaping here is so meticulously maintained year round. Big old umbrella to keep you protected from the sun here. Some day beds to lounge out. And over at the far end is your outdoor kitchen. Must have charcoal grill. Behind me, your prep sink. Got your built-in ice maker here behind me. And then basically a full-on kitchen just outside. Take a look at this grill. Twin Eagles, beautiful grill. We've got your mini fridge built in. I mean, this really is a house for family and for entertaining. You've got your living staircase, which steps down to your rolling green backyard, which meets the blues of the sound. And it's really from back here where you can truly take in the architecture of this home and really soak in that you're here in Cape Cod. And at the edge of your backyard, you've got your couch overlooking your 280 feet of waterfront here. This is why people come to Cape Cod, is for the sound, it's for the serenity. And this really is one of the only places in America where you can escape. We are so isolated out here on Cape Cod, where if you're looking for peace of mind and if you're looking to not be found, this is the place. Bringing it back to the house, we're now at the terrace right off of your great room. And now we're gonna walk to the owner's suite, which also has its own private outdoor space. Every bedroom in this house has views of the Nantucket Sound. This is the primary bedroom in the owner's wing of the estate. As you can see, we've got the double height vaulted ceilings in here gas fireplace, TV overhead, and again, the views of the sound. From the bedroom space, let's check out the bathrooms in the closet because they're pretty impressive. So we have two. This is the his closet and bathroom. And just take a peek. You have mahogany everywhere, all custom millwork here. The closet then flows into the bathroom space where we have this huge walk-in shower here with again, the views of the sound from your shower. I had just noticed this, we have a TV. I don't know if you can see this in the camera. The TV is built into the mirror here. Leaving his right across, we have the her side, which has heated floors. As soon as I walked in here, I felt the heat coming up through the floors. And check out this soaking tub, built right in here in the corner, a oval soaking tub overlooking the sound here, a bright, airy bathroom. It even has a bidet, 
It's another steam shower here. Out of the bathroom connecting, look how large this closet space is. Showroom ready here. Displaying your wardrobe, I mean all your jewelry in the center here. There's, I wanna point this out, there's even a mini fridge. Fully stocked in the closet. That's some next level stuff right there. And then at the end of the closet, look at this. Her office space. And again, I mentioned the fresh roses. There's fresh flowers throughout the entire house because you have that staff on standby, which lives on the property. Just for a little frame of reference of where we are in this mansion, we've got your owner's wing here, which then connects, if you pull back, back into that great room area when we first walked into the home. So we're now back in the foyer. Your front door is right to my left. And now we're gonna head downstairs. But I do wanna talk about this stairwell for a second because the architecture is very significant. If you notice, we have a double width stair here with a landing on the halfway point where you have a window which lets light flood in to the lower level of this home. At the bottom of your staircase, welcome to the entertainment floor. We're behind me, we've got your poker tables, bar front and center. Get a look at this. I've actually yet to be in here. It might be locked, I'm not sure if it's locked. Oh, it's not locked. This is your temperature and humidity controlled 5,000 bottle wine cellar. Any wine from any vineyard in the world in this room, and that's something special. So out of your wine storage area, this is the home theater. Very casual. We have these comfy armchairs, five of them, and I like how you have the glass wall here where you can then see into your wine storage. Then again, you've got the bar built in here behind, microwave, refrigerator, all that, which then leads into your pool hall here. And look at this. This is it right here. This is state of the art golf simulator with a custom mural of Pebble Beach on the walls here. Now I've toured a lot of high rises in New York City that have golf simulators for the entire building. I'm talking a building with like 50 units in it. This is just for this house and your buddies, a golf simulator where you could play any course in the entire world. So after your round of golf, we can come up the stairs here. We've got your powder room off to the right, but more importantly than the powder room, we've got your in-house massage. Can have your chiropractor come here, work out any kinks in your back, really get yourself nice and limber here. A zen room. All right, we're getting our steps in in this house. So for reference, we're back to your front door and it's really from the top of the stairs where you can look down and admire that foyer with all that millwork and look how big this chandelier is here. It's like a old school lantern here hanging right above. But off to the left, this is the first guest bedroom and I'm gonna show you the bathroom as well because this is pretty unique. So you have a built-in tub here with this stained glass and this faces west. So when the sun pours in here, hopefully we get to see it today, but this illuminates the whole bathroom here. And you've got your makeup station, full in bathroom, dual vanity. And this is currently staged as what would be the kids room. So you have two full beds here. And again, those views of the sound with the perfect day here on Cape Cod, blue skies all around. And back out into the connecting hallway, we're gonna save this room for last. So at the far end of the hallway, I do wanna point this out. You've got your elevator. In case you don't feel like taking the stairs, say you're downstairs on the entertainment floor and you wanna come up the bed, elevator. This is another guest bedroom and if you pull back, you can see it's a huge one. We've got a king size bed staged in here right now. And for reference, these guest bedrooms in the main house are the size of most of the the primary bedrooms in a typical house. So, I mean, for instance, look how large this bathroom is. Steam shower here, built-in soaking tub, and I'm gonna actually get in this so you can see, with a view of now the front of the property. We've talked a lot about the, the sound, because I mean, that is the main selling point, but look how lush the lawns are of your estate. Big puffy clouds off in the distance, blue skies. So I do wanna show you how it connects here. So you've got the water closet behind you, and then this connects right back around so I'll show you now the views on the southern side of the house. At this point, you might even be sick of it. The views of the sound. And this room I'm about to take you now, we're gonna head back into the hallway. But in my opinion, this room is the most substantial in the house because an individual who can buy a house of this caliber, you will be spending a lot of time in here. Welcome to the home office here in the estate. You've got your desk, your built-ins behind here, your office, computer, all of that on the far end flat screen TV on the wall, your card table, very important. And then you've got your memorabilia here, golf streams. This is where the money is made in this room right here. You've got your bathroom because why would you wanna leave your office when you're in the thick of it? 
You even have a shower in here. And I wanna point this out because I love the nautical theme here. This is the captain station. You have your built-in temperature, pressure, tile chart, and your wind here. All electric built-in to the woodwork here. And at the end of the day, you open your door and step out to your back terrace, overlooking the rolling green lawn, the views of the sound, and you can't help but think to yourself, life is pretty damn good.